Hey everybody, Patrick here, and I have great news for you guys. Our new YouTube setup is finally set up. We're ready to go. I'm currently sitting in it. I've got the new whatever, cords, all this crazy stuff, new microphone, everything ready so that I can produce more content for you guys on trading currency and of course making money from home. So if you have not already, it's now the time to subscribe because I'm gonna start trying to put at least a video out per day, which means you need to turn on that notification bell and of course subscribe to get those alerts for when I do produce them because some of them will be real-time stuff that you can take action on to make money now. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about Euro Yen. It was a trade opportunity that we put out, of course, on DeLorean Shadow, for those of you guys that are familiar. And if you're not familiar, it was just a trade setup that we talked about in our live room. And today I wanna to talk about how we can identify very good setups, the amazing long-term quick swings in the market, pinpointed entries with accuracy and how we can take them. So I'm gonna bring you over to our platform. I'm gonna show you guys exactly where we bought Euro Yen and how we profited and how we, of course, set this up. So now that we are over on the uh, computer screen, I wanna talk about Euro Yen. As I said, we took a trade on August 21st. We set the pending on August 20th, but on August 21st, we had this trade setup actually get activated. And it went really well. As you can see, we had our entry point at uh, 124.68. The market came down to 124.43, and then it reversed up for over 200 pips, or in this case, it was exactly uh, 238 pips. And we hit TP number one for 202 pips. How did we find this setup? Why did we buy it where we bought it? Well, that's what I'm gonna discuss in today's video. And actually at the end of it, it's very easy. And so I'm gonna hop over to trading view. We're gonna talk about Euro Yen on the four hour and exactly how we managed to get inside of this position. So as you can see, this is the exact position that we took. We bought the dip down here. So that'll look familiar in this case. How do we know to buy that dip? Well, first things first, we took a look at the overall market structure in terms of trend. I want you to ask yourself this question. Is the market going up or is the market going down? Now it's pretty obvious that the market has been heading in an upward direction in this case from these lows of uh, May of this year. Came up, made a high in June, reversed, broke that high, and now, of course, at this point in time, we are retesting that high. Now, why do I bring that up? Well, the market is bullish, and what it's doing is it is telling us at this point in time, once it breaks right here, that we are continuing. The moment that we broke that area, I was looking for an opportunity to do what we like to call buying the dip. So instead of just buying on the breakout or instead of buying randomly, I buy when the market pulls back and that's exactly what we did. So how did we come to that conclusion? Well, first, of course, the trend. So we got that down. We know for a fact that this market is working its way up and we're just waiting to buy these pullbacks. As it started to pull back for the first time, really that was in a real manner, and what I mean by that is the first time that the market really substantially pulled back, we started to look to buy. And that was in this area right in here. The streak of uh, bearish days, one, two, three, four, five, six bearish days in a row. So let me zoom out here and I'll show you guys exactly how we actually did this. First things first, we identified the high. As you can see, this high was identified. We determined, okay. We're at this high. The market started to roll down and it started, of course, making lower highs and lower lows. We have an intraday bearish trend, perfect. We need that. Then at that point in time, we started to look at what we call the sequence of the market. Now, as you guys know, when we go back to the daily time frame, we have what? A bullish market. And this bullish market is actually in a sequence. Remember, the market works its way in sequences. So the market started at the bottom down here, and I named this origin, the starting point. It worked its way up to the first point, which is point number one. It worked its way back down, which is point number two. And you guessed it, it's working its way up to point number three. Now, where is point number three? Well, point number three is the symmetrical measurement from origin to one, to two to three. So what does that mean? That means if origin to one is 100 pips, the length from two to three is also 100 pips. 
Now you might measure it that way, but there's actually a handy dandy tool in the third down on trading view called the trend base fib extension. You can see that I have it uh, starred and favorited. So what I do is I measure from origin up to one, down to two, and that creates that for us. That starts to give us that spot to know where the market can go. And it tells us at right here, point number one, that this mar market becomes symmetrical at 129.39.7. Have we reached that point yet? No, we've only reached 127 and uh, 127.09. So there's some separation of 200 pips here. There's more upside to go on Euro Yen. And so at that point in time, of course now, we can see a dip's happening now, which might actually present an opportunity. There's your nugget of the video. Start looking to buy Euro Yen if you can. But that presented at this time on this pullback for us that there was an opportunity to of course buy it. And so on the four hour, we actually do the same thing from a symmetrical basis. Now it's a lot easier on the daily because we saw those threes, but right now I'm gonna label this for you. Notice right now we have origin. One, two, three, four, five. Now when you get a five leg, you don't measure from origin to one to two like we just did on the daily time frame. You measure from origin to three, back up to four. Okay. And when you do that, it's gonna give you an approximate level. And if you measure it, and if you zoom in, we did it quick and dirty there, but when you zoom in, you can get it to the exact level but it's gonna give you a one. The one is where you buy. The 1618 is where you put your stop loss. And your initial targets are the initial highs and your take profit two targets are of course the daily sequence. So check this out, at 124.68, that's where the one point sits. Now I want you to notice where I sent out the alert to our people. On Euro Yen, I sent them this alert. I said, guys, put a buy limit, a pending order at 124.68, buy it there. When they put that pending, it automatically got hit and they profited. Our stop loss was under the 1618. We targeted the previous highs. Our second target was, of course, the full extension. Now, do we get that? No. We hit TP1, we pulled out partials, we moved our stops up to 124, or I'm sorry, 125.10. The market eventually came back down and hit that stop loss at plus 40 pips. So everything is closed out now. We're no longer in this trade. But the reason that I bring this up to you is that this is exactly how we identified, we mitigated our risk, and we got involved in a trending market, which is important. Now, what's your nugget of the day is this. We know for a fact, based off of what we just talked about, that there's still upside to go. And as long as point number two on the daily time frame, which is way down here at 1.1927, as long as point number two is not broken, you can still look to buy the dips. So right now, what do you think I'm doing? Well, I'm lowering the time frame again. Let's erase all this. I'm lowering the time frame again and I'm trying to find another reason to buy the dip. Now, could that be as simple as a three leg? Sure. And as you can see, if that was the case, 124.15 would be the dip buying opportunity. Okay, now obviously we can try to take that trade and we can try it again. But what I like to do in this case is I like to look left at structure, say, okay, we have some structure here. We have some structure here. I'm gonna to try to buy or sell or whatever it is, in this case, buy off those key levels. And so 124.15 is looking like another good level to potentially buy Euro Yen. Hopefully that's a big enough nugget for you. Hint, hint, wink, wink, to be on my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, of course, click that like button. And of course, come on guys, hit the subscribe button. So that's how we trade this. And those of you guys that are not yet familiar with this, this is called DeLorean Shadow. And shadow is my way of sending my own trades to my people. Currently have about four or 5,000 students on this platform. 
And what they are doing is they are getting these alerts and then inputting them directly into their broker on top of the DeLorean trades, which are our traditional everyday trades. These are shadow trades where it's just pending orders. So if you've never been familiarized with this, if you don't know what this is and you're not already inside of it, you can click the link in the description. I have some instructions on what you need to do. It costs a couple hundred bucks is all to get started in our platform. And of course, guys, if, if, uh, if you're worried about making a couple hundred bucks in the platform, then that's your, of course, first worry. That's your first sort of obstacle hurdle to get over. If you don't think trading can make you a couple hundred bucks, then it's probably not for you. Understand trading does involve risk and you're not guaranteed to make money. But one thing is certain, trading has changed my entire life, okay? So with that said, click the link in the description if you haven't already uh, to get access to things like this on DeLorean Shadow for the next trade updates that I'll send into the future. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Obviously, Euro Yen was a fantastic trade, another opportunity over 200 pips that I had for my clients and myself. Hopefully this teaches you the why behind why we did what we did and why we actually entered this position. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask below. And of course, I will see you on the next video.